Hello dear students, I am Mr. Sano Amdouni and this video is for grade 7 students and is on chapter 2 which is pictorial projection. We are going to study oblique projection. So let's get started. The learning objectives are as follows. You will be able to identify oblique projection, draw cubes, cuboids and shape blocks in oblique projection on appropriate grid. And finally, render cubes, cuboids, and shape blocks. When we talk about pictorial projection, it means that it is a method of giving an instant three-dimensional view of an object. So, it is useful for relaying information to a person, not used to read in drawings prepared in orthographic projection. So, as we can see below, we have planometric, we have oblique, isometric, and perspective. For grade 7, we are going to study only oblique projection and isometric projection. In order to draw an oblique projection, we will be needing the square grid. Do not confuse square grids with graph paper. Let's find out what information we have in this example. So the first thing that we see is the front view. Next. We have the direction of depth and then finally we have the depth of the object. When we draw oblique projection, the first step is to identify the form view. One tip which I usually give is that you must be able to copy the form view as it is. So in the form view, we have two crucial dimensions which are the length and the height. So this is how we count the length and the height. In the first example, the length is 6 squares and the height is 6 squares as well. So we write the LHD as 6 and 6. What about the depth? In the previous slide we saw that in the exercise the depth was six deep so the third dimension is six when we talk about oblique projection we have to understand that we will be given information in 2d which means the front face will contain only the length and the height the depth will be given and usually, depending on the direction of the arrow, we'll find these three dimensions. When we look at the direction of arrow, it means that our depth line will follow through the diagonal lines on the square grid. So this is 1D. How do we draw a line which is 3D? Follow carefully. As you can see, the line starts from one point and it moves diagonally through three squares. So once we have all this information in hand, first of all what we do is that we draw the front view as it is. Once we have drawn the front view on the square grid, we have only two dimensions here, the length and the height. We have to include the third dimension which is the depth. The depth here is 6 squares. Full attentively, all the corners we are going to label them A, B, C and D. You can also use numbers 1, 2, 3 and 4. Once we have labeled the four corners, we start with the first point which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So this is where point A will reach when we count 6D. We are going to do the same. We are going to move each point to reach the depth.
we are not going to move point D because as a general rule any line which crosses the front face we are not going to draw it since the point D will move through the front face we are not going to draw it once we have completed the shape it will look like this in the second example the front view is a rectangle here as you may have observed the direction of arrow has changed it has moved to the left the depth also is different the length for this shape is 6 the height is 4 and the depth is 4 because it's written there 4 deep the direction of length remains the same the direction of the depth has changed it has moved to the left whereas the height still remains vertical first of all to attempt this example we have to draw the front view once we have drawn the front view we label all the corners we are going to locate point a in depth since it is four deep we have to move along diagonals of four squares So this is where point A is situated in 4D. We are going to do same for point B. Here we are not going to move point C since if we draw the line it will cross the front face. Instead we are going to move point D and when we join the lines it is going to look like this. So we have reached the end of this first part. In the next part we are going to look at how we are going to draw shape blocks in oblique projection till then take care please like share and subscribe see you soon